Okay, so this cube has one, two, three, four, five little bits across. One, two, three, four, five down. And one, two, three, four, five back. There's also five down on this side, five across on this side. And it's always five across, five down, and five back. So, is this a 10 by 10? Hey guys, this is WetCXC, and today in this video, we're going to show you some of non-cubers people's logic stuff I messed up, but who cares? Let's just go into the video. So, you're able to solve a puzzle by remembering different series of steps that you learned from the internet. Are you good at math? Wow, this is like... A Rubik's Cube, but it's in the shape like a pyramid. I wonder what the name is. It's like pyramid, 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 pyramid. Is this the Rubik's Triangle? So, I have no idea how to really solve this, but I just assumed that it would take me two days to solve it, even though there are 43 quintillion different ways to mess it up, and if you really did had no idea how to solve it and you just did random moves it would take like a million years to do based on random moves and probability and that would even probably be too generous i still think that even though it takes you 20 seconds to solve it it would take me like 20 hours to solve it yeah makes sense right oh so you can solve it in 20 seconds that's unbelievable but you just showed me so i believe it the world record is less than five seconds I don't believe it. That's not possible. Don't believe it at all. So you're telling me that this cube is better than the ones by Rubik's Spread? But you know the Rubik's Spread came out with this one called the Rubik's Speed Cube, and it turns like super fast, and it actually turns faster than this. But you're still saying that this is better than the Rubik's Speed Cube. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so. Why do you like these ones? Because these are sort of cheat cubes, you know? Just because this cube is better and it turns faster makes it a cheat cube. So, you just I just saw you break your Rubik's Cube and it popped into a bunch of different pieces. And now you're putting the pieces back together even though you clearly popped it on accident. You're cheating. You just cheat. You don't know how to solve it. You were just putting the pieces back in the right place. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. And this last one is for all you people that thought JR Cuber 17 by 17, I think it was, solve was fate. Because a lot of you guys, I think, not a lot, maybe. Well, a few of you guys thought that he just undid the scramble because he was following a scramble, right? But... Does that really make any sense? I don't know. Let's just see what you might have been thinking in your head if you thought that he faked it. So you just followed a scramble for scrambling a 17 by 17. And it probably took you like five hours to scramble it. And you just solved the cube in more than five hours. So, by my detective work, I can deduce that you reverse the scrambles, you reverse the 70 million lined algorithm, and you just solved it without even using your own algorithms. You just did the opposite of what you did to scramble it. You remembered all those 70 million moves that you used to scramble it. You remembered all of that, and you just undid it because that's easier than solving it the regular way. 